this is Kyrie. This is Ori. Yeah. Hey guys, how are you guys? We're good. Let's go. So I can get the time late. It <laughs> seemed like, you know, you were really assertive offensively from the jump. Just, you know, what came into what went into that mindset today? I uh, just wanted to get off to a good start against a good team and uh, do everything necessary to win. We got you, Kai. Kyrie, you, you were, uh, what's today? On Wednesday, you were kind of big on being easy on expectations for TJ, just given his layoff and everything. But, you know, 17 minutes, 10 points, what did you make of his first game with you guys? I was really excited for him. Uh, like I said the other night, just him doing all the little things, uh, getting back, uh, you know, the two years. Just just really happy for him and proud of him. It is, you can't take it for granted when you take two years to come back to a game that you love or a craft that you love. Kai. Kyrie, you guys have now won four in a row and seven of the last nine. Um, just wondering, and <laughs> just, but. just, just wondering. And <laughs> yeah, four in a row. This is my press conference. Anyway, yeah. so. <laughs> it's wild and great. Yeah, yeah. Four, four in a row, seven of the last nine. Just what's changed in this team? Uh, just playing with a lot more confidence. Everybody's uh, accepting their role, and I, I think uh, we're just catching a good rhythm right now. So we just want to keep it going. From uh, that point when you guys kind of blew it open with that 15-0 run, I mean, obviously you guys were good on both sides of the ball, but I mean, what was the, the key there, particularly defensively in that run? Yeah, it starts on the defensive end for us. Uh, we said that in the beginning of the season, and, um, you know, when we're clicking on all cinders like that on the defensive end, it, it makes the game and the night a lot easier. I feel like we had control of the game since the first quarter, and we were able to uh, play the game the right way. I feel like we gave up a lot of opportunities, open looks. We were just being too passive, but I, I'd rather that at times uh, than us getting into any selfish play. So we, we covered for each other on the defensive end. We did all the little things, and offensively, we made enough shots to get the W. Kyrie, you mentioned how happy everybody is for TJ, given what he's been through. What do you think that means for him to clear this hurdle of playing again and being at the highest level and, and knowing that he can do it? I mean, it's hard not to feel for anybody like that. Uh, you know, it is a similar situation that we went through with Kev when he tore his Achilles, and we just had to be there for him and just support him on the off days and some good days and bad days when you're rehabbing. So, um, you know, we just feel good. And, uh, we, we really uh, empathize with not only just TJ, but people around the world that deal with, you know, crisis or injuries like that, and they're coming back and they love what they do. And... Um, the, uh, and when you see TJ come in today, I, I pray that he's all smiles because he deserves it. Two years not playing something you love or you're not being able to work at the highest level and you're watching everybody continuously get better. Um, you know, I'm pretty sure he had that itch. So I'm glad that he got out the way and um, he could do it in Brooklyn. Um, the Raptors started to catch up in the last quarter. Um, what was happening then, and how do you keep the energy for the Celtics the next game? Uh, well, we don't want the end of the game uh, <laughs> similar <laughs> like we had today. Uh, turn into a little bit of all-star game. And then, um, you know, just a lot of easy baskets that Toronto was getting. And um, just for us to be a good team, uh, we just got to play the full 48 minutes. So we know Toronto's going to make a run eventually, but um, just got to be in their way a little bit more.